Come in. Not just because you have an awesome name, but would you mind telling us uh, your name again and your rank? Okay, my name is Apollo Castillo. I'm from Lubbock, Texas. I was a sergeant in the Marine Corps for nine and a half years. And Apollo, what is it about uh, what's going on here at uh, Channing Tactical and that, that spoke to you that made you want to come out? Uh, just seeing uh, how they were treating the indigenous people, uh, the tear gas, the uh, water below freezing temperatures. It, it, for me, it just wasn't right. It was just uh, I wanted to show up with the veterans and show that you know we stand with the water protectors and the people here. Um, we're their guests and we're here to show that we stand with them. And one thing that I keep hearing um, from some of the other interviews that we've done is the, the tactics themselves from the Morgan County Police Department. That's what we've heard from the native folks here, from a lot of the activists that, that have either been you know, hit by, um, by rubber bullets or, or face tear gas. Um, do you? You personally, do you see these as over-militarized tactics? Uh, yes, sir. I think so. Um, um, I just think that they shouldn't be doing that, you know, because these are American citizens, and they're using those things against American citizens, and it's just for me, it's not right. Uh, I, I know that there's been groups coming in and out from the from the barricade line over there. Mm -hmm. As far as you know, is there any common ground uh, being made? Uh, is that is the presence of veterans that have already arrived? Um, having positive results on it? Um, I believe so. I'm just hearing the talk around the camp. Um, everybody's pretty excited that, you know, we're here and we'll be coming in for the rest of the day. You know, I know the rest of our group's coming in and um, I, I think it's uplifting spirits as well that we're here and supporting them. Um, one thing you may or may not be able to comment on this, and if not, it's absolutely okay, but this pipeline is all but complete. All but a section of this pipeline that goes underneath the Missouri River, just north of the of the Sandy Rock Reservation. Yes, sir. Um, what's going to need to happen here? If that pipeline gets built, what happens next? What happens to your to your group? What happens to the water protectors? What happens to um, the demonstration? To be honest, sir, I don't know. We will do everything that we can. You know, we'll probably regroup, come up with a different plan, and and I know I'm in it for the long haul. You know, I know the rest of my fellow veterans. You know, we'll figure something else out and do what we need to do um, until we start making progress. It's just, it's just not right. And Apollo, your name and rank is for last time. It's Apollo Castillo. Um, I was a sergeant in the Marine Corps. Thanks so much for your yes, time. Sir. I appreciate it. Right, thank you. Thank you. Very much. Yes, sir.